1999, and the illusion continues. One begs to ask, when will it end? Unnatural disasters happen seemingly every week. Train crashes, shootings, nuclear accidents. Is there any place of refuge one can flee from this insanity? Very few of mankind's creations are designed to make you feel good, unless you get pleasure from seeing the human body desecrated by guns, explosions, fights, and any other things these so-called artists create. In the name of freedom, many have used art as a means to destroy the human mind. As an excuse to continue, we hear, Art reflects society. How many times has this lie been repeated? Creations are not real, they say, and yet any one of these people can call to mind images and complete scenes of horror and graphic detail. They will carry these so-called unreal creations around with them for the rest of their lives. These images are now a part of their being. In the name of recreation, these people, in fact, are recreating themselves and their own images. Society then reflects art. In man's decision to further separate from God, his recreation of himself leaves him in a dysfunctional state of confusion. The mind becomes a burial ground for dead waste. Isolated from the wholeness of God, Earth, and his fellow brothers and sisters, this man seeks solace and activities he thinks will stimulate his mind. He then begins downloading into his brain a series of man-made creations designed to destroy it. All man-made creations originate from one of two sources, the tree of knowledge or the tree of life. One of these trees contain deadly fruit, the other fruit of everlasting life. The one who disregards this fact recreates himself and his kind into extinction. You are reading these words on a machine created by man. As you read, you hear a voice speaking to you the words that you perceive. They make sense to you because you understand. Stand under the spelling. The words are what binds the spell to your illusion. When you hear the truth, like a memory, you recognize it and this recognition releases you from all illusion. Many languages are brilliant in their attempt to confuse you. Khan meaning against, fuse meaning together. Words in their spell-binding illusions have the power to keep man separate from God. You were born in an all-knowing state of mind. The first words spoken to you begin the spell. The words come from one of two sources, the tree of knowledge or the tree of life. In ignorance or simply lack of respect for God, many use words that confuse the minds of humans and turn them into projections of their own illusions. Because of this fact, many people grow up and blindly assume their pre-selected role under a dictatorship without even being aware of it. When asked what they are doing here on earth, most will answer with statements that do not reflect their natural God-given desires. This creates a pyramid-like structure with the dictator on top and each level under it knowing less and less. Upon reaching the bottom level, which is where the majority is, you will find chaos, disorder, and illusion. With ill as its prefix, illusion is a state of insanity. In the name of democracy, supreme power is vested unto the people in this insane state instead of God. A future recreated to be ruled by man is one of isolation and despair. Returning the leadership back into God will allow mankind to achieve its original collective goal, which is union with God. Ideas contrary to this goal should not be blamed or persecuted, just simply ignored. They originated when man first chose to ignore God's rule. Simply put, in the beginning, the human was made perfect in God's image. They had no need for knowledge. They were also given freedom of choice. The tree of knowledge and the tree of life are reflections of this freedom. The human is now a reflection of their choice. They could have simply chose not to choose. God being centrifugal in nature, freedom was the cause and choice was the effect. In knowing their perfection made in God's image, there was no need to choose. In fact, 
there were no needs. There was only love in an all-knowing state before the fall. The worst thing you can do is give up your God-given right to choose. For in it, you can choose not to choose. Therein is the final judgment. The illusion ceases, and you awaken from your dream. Now the healing begins. With an all-knowing mind made in God's image, you can create as your creator, God intended. With love, honor, and respect for every living thing in the universe. Separation ceases, and we all become one being. Single. The one song. I am the universe. The sun, the moon, and the sea. Let's go.